Hello, hello, everyone. How are you this morning? I tell you, I'm just dragging. You know, you come back from vacation and it's like you need a vacation from your vacation. Um, but uh, I'm so glad I'm here. So let's go do what I always do. Um, I've even forgot to share it out on all my Twitter channels and all that stuff. So let me let me go ahead and um, do that also um, while I um, get stuff. Uh, um, what's the word I'm talking about? Yeah, get stuff going here. <laughs> oh, first let's do that. I'm going to share it over in the Twixverse and the Threadosphere. So let me see if I can get this moving here. So we'll go, I am live, exclamation point. Let me add the Twix on here. Twitch. Uh. <coughs> like two minutes before the show started, I've got this, I don't know, terrible cough and I apologize for coughing everybody um so let's do that let's post that let's go over to threads and post it on threads so anybody over there watching they can um get it there Let's see. Let me go ahead and copy this. Let me stick this in a couple of the um, uh, channels I normally put stuff in that I am late on doing because I was staring off into space. <laughs> Why? Because that's what I did this morning. Uh so we got that done. So I can go ahead and close this. Let me go over to Discord real quick. I'm sorry, guys. I just totally, um, like I said, whiffed it this morning. I am. Let's see. What do I need to do here? I need to go over here. Let me find those channels. Let me promote myself there really fast. And, um. I thought when the alarm was going off, it was the five minute alarm, a five minutes till alarm, and it was actually the one minute alarm. So you got to leave in 10 minutes to so entertain you. Oh, you're probably not going to get it this morning. Probably not going to get that much entertainment this morning. So, okay, I think I got everything done. The only thing I don't have it done is sent to my family. Um, but they're probably all sleeping, so I'm not going to worry about them today. So, ta-da! I'm here, everybody. <laughs> it's been, a, we had a wonderful, wonderful vacation. I am so excited about it. So, uh, let me go ahead and turn the emote off on, um, my, uh, Twitch real fast here. Um. Okay, so that is done. So, oh, my little Siri bot did that for me. Well, thank you. So, I think we are good there. Um, so, um, let's see how we are doing. We seem to be doing okay. All right. Okay. So now it's time to entertain. Um, <clears throat> I want to thank you guys. If you've been uh, tweeting this out or posting it or doing anything uh, to help the team park streamers, they have raised, uh, when I looked last night, over $3,100. They have uh, raised their goal to $5,000. Um, so uh, keep Keep doing what you guys are doing to help them out uh, to raise money for Children's Hospital of Orange County. Um, so 
thank you guys for that. And uh, whoops, that's not what I meant to do. That on there. What do I do? What do I mean to do? Let's take that off right now. <laughs> it's really kind of cool. Yes. Uh, he, yes, he said he'd probably be late, had to go to the poodle parlor where we will see him uh, when he gets here and he'll be looking fine and snazzy. Kateva says, This is so very much awesome. Well, I'm so glad you enjoy them. And we have Stunning and Brave Megatron saying, I got to leave in 10 minutes, so entertain you. Let me entertain you. Um, and we have Real Wade Nation Gaming Clips. Yes, I am live. I am a lot. Not well, I'm I'm moving. <laughs> the, uh, after the vacation, uh, you know, oh my gosh, I'm so tired. His hit. Wow, we have 13 people watching. That is so cool. You got your mini mouse and aerial transfer to Bristol this morning. Going to hopefully get all my ladies transferred tonight. Then I can ink and maybe color them live on Saturday. I tell you, that image was amazing. That was so impressive. Uh, yes, if you do a live stream on Saturday and get the link, um, you can post it whenever you're on my show. Uh, yes, and we have um, Penny saying hello. Hello to you. Um, sci-fi mommy. Yes, they keep they keep meeting their goals. You know, they uh chalk the park streamers, team park streamers. Yeah, they started with 500 was their goal, and uh, then they raised it to 3,000 and they got that. So, uh, yes, uh, chalk walk in the park, uh, with at Disneyland resorts or something like that. Yes. They're doing a lot for the Children's Hospital of Orange County. Um, so let's see. Good morning. Good mornings. Good mornings. Good mornings. Um, good morning. Uh, the fundraiser for the uh, re the uh, Children's Hospital, they actually raised their goal by up for $2,000 more. So they've reached their $3,000 goal. So now they're going for $5,000 to get to for the company. Oh, I was, um, I took myself off the stream. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I should be back now. Sorry about that, guys. I just been, yeah, morning mutings. I'm, yes, I'm so sorry, guys. I took the wrong thing off. So I just been chatting away. Um, so you guys should be able to hear me now. Yes, I fixed it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you always leave it last minute to get your stream posted. Oh, you're doing nine to five. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. So, okay. So, um, yep. Yeah. So, guess what it's time for? It's time for puzzles. Today is Wednesday. It is puzzle time. So uh, I hope you guys have some brains this morning because I don't. Mine have all gone away. <laughs> so, so I'm hoping it's an easy one today because we're not going to have studying to help us. We have Penny, though. We have Penny. So that might, we, I, we, I think we'll do good. So we always know what our first word is. Adieu. And it has an I in it. But it's not in the... Um, in the uh, third spot. So let's see if we could think of just any word. Yes, I do love the emote greetings also. Um, 
It's uh, stunning. Says it's just an easy job. It's just slow and boring. I understand that. Um. Ah, bringing the sketchbook with you. Yeah, yeah, no pressure, Penny. No snort for now. <laughs> Every word I can think of has an I in the middle. I was trying to think of something that had an O in it. Also, the... Oh, riots. R-I-O-T-S. That doesn't have... It's an easy eight-hour shift, so you can't complain exactly. So we're going to try riots. That's a bunch of different letters there. So, oh, wow, there's an S, a T, and an R. We don't know where they go, but the I goes in the um, second spot. So let's see what could it be. Um, Yes, Riot Kitty, exactly. Okay, what could this be? You have your grandson today and he's watching Bat Wheels on YouTube. I don't know what this word is. If it were an E, it could be pixel. Well, there's an R and T and an S that go in different spots. S it can't be Wizzy, stop it. I have all these other letters. You're completely ignoring other letters that are on in this. You're not helping today, stunning. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Yeah, I wonder if I can make this full screen. Stunning. I'm going to, you're not helping. Can you guys still hear me? It doesn't really change the way it looks. So we'll stick myself back in here because I feel much more confident having my face in the picture. Uh, F I first. Thank you. F I R S T first. Yay! We got the first word. Yippee! Now I got to find do we have a um <clears throat> Excuse me guys. My th like I said 2 minutes before the show started I had this horrible coughing fit, like I had something stuck in my throat. It was awful. So we have first, we have an O and an S. An S is not at the end. So we could be... S-P-O... S-H-O-W-Y. You want to try showy? We can try showy. It's not showy, but we know where the S and the O and the W go. Oh, I think I know what this word is. I'm going to let you guys see if you can figure it out. I'm going to do a couple celebrations while we're here. We have, um, I get my celebrations from three websites, Days of the Year, National Day, and National Day Calendar. They're all dot coms. And our first one is Day of Hope, and that's from National Day. 
And I hope my reading can, will be good today. I'm so sorry. Uh, this is from National Today. It is a day of inspiration and motivation for everyone to wake up to the need to rescue children and adults who are passing through phases of abuse of different kinds, sicknesses, and traumatic experiences. Did you know that children die daily from abuse um, in the U.S.? The primary um, purpose of observing this day is to strive to put an end to child abuse and neglect. Researchers found that children who have gone through harsh and abusive childhoods are at a risk of also becoming abusive, resorting to alcohol and drugs, engaging in criminal activities, and even um, unaliving themselves. We have a responsibility to ensure the safety of children everywhere, which is what the Day of Hope stands to remind us of. What can you do? You can volunteer to help children facing abuse and neglect. You can donate. You can sp um, spread the word. You can raise awareness as much as you can about child abuse and neglect, its dangers to the lives of children, and its resultant effect on society. So our day of hope um, is today. And let's see, we have a uh, theme park casual who's popped in getting on the road. Yes, I saw that you reached your $3,000 goal and you're now at $5,000 is your goal. I think that's amazing. Um, I, I try to promote it every show um, that I have to, if, if nothing else, we can have people get the word out there. So congratulations on that. And do you have a wonderful day and thank you for, uh, Letting me be your drive stream while uh, you're going where you're going. So does anybody have any idea what this word could be? I do. Since I did a couple um, celebrations, I am going to go ahead and... Is Snorter Poop is back? Did I miss him? He popped. He went above the screen. Oh, hello, Snorter Poop is. Hello, hello. Could be snows. Nope, there's no S at the end. Scow, dad man got it way up here. Um, so let me see, scow. So let's talk, I think that's what it is. S-C-O-W-L, scow. Scow is correct. Uh, let's me make sure I have not missed anybody here. We have, hello, Snorter Poopus. I bet you are just looking fine and dapper this morning. And I have said hello to Theme Park Casual. Um, and I think, um, ba -ba -ba, I think we are good. Okay, so there we go. So yes, it was scal. So we have an S at the beginning. And then we have an A, D, T, and I that go in the other letters. So the next word, what could it be? I think I know. I think I know. Does anyone have an idea? I don't want to go through all my um, celebrations um, before we, uh, whoops, I typed in my finger, typed the wrong letter. Stayed. That man says stayed. Stayed. Yes, it is stayed. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm so sorry. Let me get a drink of water real quick. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I miss? I, I, let's see. Oh, I read that all oh, completely different. Wait, I thought you said Mrs. Dadman. Now I had to put that up there so they could see. I thought they said Mrs. Dadman now was vacation. And I'm going, I don't understand that. How was the vacation? Sorry, wait. 
like I say, my brain isn't necessarily engaged. It was wonderful. It was, it was wonderful. Um, we had a nice campsite. We, um, got to do, um, I like bringing a puzzle. We actually did two puzzles and dad man helped me put the first one together. Just me and him did it. It was an, only a 350, uh, piece puzzle. So it wasn't, um, wasn't uh difficult we got it done in an evening and then me and my sister did another one the dad man found two pieces in it so he was proud of himself that it was a little harder puzzle but yeah it was wonderful we did that we had some wonderful meals um we got to spend easter with my family uh which we had a uh, wonderful layout of food uh we're probably going to do a uh stream about the trip and um we can show some of the food and all that stuff. It was really good. It was really nice. Saw lots of animals. Lots of animals. Um, uh, we had regular visitors at our campsite. Uh, we went to see some wonderful places. So it was just very, very relaxing. The only thing I realized is that I am older. We tent camp. We do not RV camp. Um, is I might have to make some kind of bed frame for our mattress so that I'm a little bit off the ground. It's a little hard getting off the ground um, these days. <laughs> so that's one thing I said, think I might, uh, might need to uh, modify for the um, next trip. Uh, it was more camping than glamping. Um, I will say that I, we do bring a portable AC because uh any camping in Florida in any summertime is horrible. Um, it's miserable. So that's the one uh, luxury uh, that we bring uh, to on our trip is I have a portable AC that we do take. Um, and yes, the caterpillars. Oh my gosh. Um, I probably killed many pre-butterflies this trip. Um, Dama says, help up. You do fine when I goose you. Oh, stop it. <laughs> um, yes, the caterpillars, we killed probably many pre-butterflies, but they were nasty and everywhere. Everywhere. So, um, does anybody know what this word is? Let's see, there's an O, a T. Oh, I know what it is. But yes, it was, um, it was very, very nice. Um, very, very nice. So what is our next? Does anybody know what this word is? Come on. Yes, wrote. W, whoops, let me go back over here. W-R-O-T-E, wrote. Yes, these are going to be easy today because I guess the letters are just falling into place today. Unlike some of those others, which are whew, a little rough today. Well, I do want to say that um, missing, um, missing uh, Atwood this morning he started his job today. I know he had said that in some of the chats that he had lost his job and was looking, but he did start a new job today. So we will miss him in chat um, and except on his days off and things like that. But uh, very, um, very glad that that happened to one of our friends. So yes, choir, choir, choir. Um, and we have American Circus Day, everybody. <clears throat> National Day Today says, this holiday celebrates the anniversary of the first circus performance in the U.S. It took place on April 3rd, today, but in the year 1793. It was organized by British equestrian John Bill Ricketts. It was an open-air arena, and it packed hundreds of spectators who ate up the performances they included it 
uh, and the uh, audience included President George Washington himself. It featured a trick rider, an acrobat, a rope walker, a clown, a boy equestrian, and Ricketts himself. The circus was held in a roofless arena that could seat about 800 people. Since its 18th century beginning, the circus grew in leaps and bounds with various showmen bringing in innovations and acts. By the 19th century, American circuses were touring Europe, and Queen Victoria herself was treated to showy performances. And World Cloud Security Day. Days of the Year says World Cloud Security Day is like a lighthouse helping us break through a dense fog of, well, clouds. It's a time when the invisible cloud-based threats we too often ignore become visible. The day also reminds us about the sometimes forgotten idea of ironclad security in our cloud-based adventures. This day seeks to bridge the gap between data clouds and online safety. By doing so, we all play an active role in enhancing the safety of our digital footprints. Whether you use cloud-based apps for personal use or to run a business, vigilance is needed. So we should go to Cauldron House in Tennessee. Cauldron House, we have to put that on our list of things. There's so many, so much stuff that's out there. Um, just so much. So does anybody know what this word is? You think it could be niche? You just went there and it was 11 out of 10? Okay. So, Cauldron House in Tennessee. Uh, well, oh, the thunder has happened. The thunder is, uh, the rains are coming. So, niche. It was niche. Yesterday we got home and was all ready. Dad man was ready to do a quick little stream. And I was just going to get on and the internet and just kind of chill around and look at stuff. And uh, we had no internet. We didn't get the internet was out till 8 p.m. <clears throat> that evening. So for seven hours, ugh, it was such a pain. But we got it back now. So what could this be? It has an L in it. What what could it be? I don't. You went the Saturday before Easter. So the just this past Saturday. Well, I figure usually when someone says they just went, I, I give it a, a couple days, you know, leeway. Um, but, yeah, I guess some people would think that you were like you just got back or something. But, yes. I actually got to play a little Fortnite last night. Uh, just offline. I I have an idea. I don't know. Hello, Mr. Angel, lurking while doing some household chores. Have fun. I, I have a lot of stuff I should do today, but like unload the van, but I'll probably just think about it. I'll probably take the, I'll take the dirty, excuse me so much. I'll take the dirty clothes out and I've got the hiccups a little bit. So I, I apologize for, apologize for that. Um, I'll 
take the laundry out and I will, uh, I will do the laundry today. Um, and I'll, I'll probably take some of the smaller stuff out. We have some big totes. Uh, yeah, as soon as uh, it doesn't rain, I have to take the tent out and make sure it's all dried and cleaned. Um, but that might take a little, a couple days, depending on how the weather is. Yeah, all the work you have to do once you get back. Yes, I am happy. We're it's supposed to have torrential rainstorms there, which we probably would have been. Thank God we had family there with an RV. We would have been in their RV watching Tubi. Um, but yeah, uh, thankfully uh, we went, the way we packed most of the the totes up is um, they're ready just to go back into storage until we use them again. Um, though the thing I believe is the tent is the only a tote we have to re uh we have to do take stuff out of to make sure it um you know it's all dry and and everything like that you can, and uh mr angel says uh says hello dad man hope you're refreshed from vacation and he goes darn it i can't type an iron at the same time <laughs> i understand that so let's see what can this word be i think it's got a double letter um he says i caught up on sleep damon tells mr Andrew, he caught up on his sleep not that i did a lot but not there's not a lot of late nights and and uh, sleeping past eight helped even if it was up and down yes the bad thing was that uh we had to walk to the bathroom and um that's always fun at two o'clock in the morning when you know there's wildlife and you hear it, you hear the wildlife and you're going, okay, they haven't said they're bear sightings here. So I'm hoping we're okay. But if a bear comes, what will I do? If I'm really close to the bathroom, I'll run to the door and go in and, and lock it <laughs> and hopefully, you know, the barrel leaf. If I'm not near the bathroom, I'll just hit the ground, crawl up in a ball, and hope to God it doesn't um, hit any vital organs if it wants to play, play, play with me <laughs> and roll me around. <clears throat> so yes, you think about things like that when you're walking at 2 a.m. in the morning and you hear rustling in the woods. It's probably just an armadillo, but you never know. You never know. Well, I'm going to guess what this word is because I don't think anybody has an idea. I'm going to think that maybe it's bleed. And it was bleed. And then we have a C, an S an, at the beginning, an S and E at the end, and an A and a U. Uh, Snorter Poopa says, yes, there were no bears, but you still, you go, well, maybe. So you always plan on it. And Snorter Poopa says, hand the bear some toilet paper. It's probably looking for some Charmin. <laughs> Just yell out, bad Snorter Poopas, bad Snorter Poopas, go away. Pop you in the nose. A dead man, Snorter Poopa says, uh, friends of yours trying to eat the missus. <laughs> and Dadman says, I yell, cousin Caden, cousin Snorter Poopa sent me. <laughs> oh, it's National Film Score Day today. National Day calendar says, National Film Score Day recognizes the musical masterpieces called film scores. And more specifically, specifically the very talented composers who create them imagine your favorite film without a few well-placed notes and hat enhancing the emotion of a dramatic on-screen exchange or a chase scene without rousing or orchestral music elevating orchestral music elevating the intensity would star wars jaws the lord of the rings films or the harry potter 
films be the same without their complementary musical scores? Without the film score, we would would we cower so easily in fear from our, our seats? Would our imagination so eagerly suspend from reality? Music heightens emotions. It also sharpens our senses and focuses our attention. Without a doubt, the film score is the fiery soul of a film. I agree with that totally. And theme park says, let's hear it for Daft Punk. Um, is Daft Punk in the chat? Because I don't see them. I tried, when I saw your comment, I'm, I'm thinking that's a person. And uh, let me check, check stuff here real quick. We have um, 10 people watching on YouTube. Thank you so much. And 10 likes. All right. Sometimes, um, um, uh, sometimes people go in and it doesn't show up. Why? And Store of Poopa says, why do people always assume I'm trying to eat them? I don't always eat people. Hides his lunch. Let's hear it for Enrico Morsiconi. I'm praying I said it correctly. Um, <laughs> and Debbie says, let's hear it's Enrico Palazzo. Um, Mr. Angel says, uh, snort of poopers, I hear ya. I hide my lunch too. So we're going to go ahead and let's do. Oh, Daft Punk is the composers of Trong Legacy. Okay. It's a musical band. Thank you. I am not, I don't know names. But cool, I learned so much. Ooh, while I was talking, I scratched my arm and I think I had a little bug bite. Ow. I'm always in a state of confusion. I'm always in a state of confusion. Those are dad man's wheelhouses. They're not mine. Music is not a big wheelhouse of mine. Uh, now, dad man knows a lot of stuff about music. more, Much more than me. Um, but you get me into the crafting areas and Lego areas. Um, uh I, uh, I'm a little, have a little more knowledge. Enrico was the composer of scores to movies like Once Upon a Time in the West and Once Upon a Time in America. A naked gun. Enrico Palazzo, Enrico Palazzo. <laughs> so we have cause here. Cause is the next one. I had to put it in there. Uh, it's also Fan Dance Day. And that's a national uh, national today. Japanese fan dancing is an ancient tradition that dates back to the 600 BC. This practice was initially used to keep the um, aristocracy cool. Over time, the majestic dance evolved into a tool of storytelling. Hey. Hello, Atwood. Yes, I uh, let them know that you might not be here today. Um, thank you for coming by on your break. Um, so have fun. Online training is so much fun. Thank you for popping in and out. Um, so good. You're 80 though. I don't understand that dad man. And, uh, yes, eyes up guardian. I'm so happy you, you're up. I hope you like your job. So, um, yes, the fan dance. Um, over time, the majestic dance evolved into a tool for storytelling and entertainment. The dances are characterized by brightly colored kimonos and handheld fans. 
bold makeup, graceful movements, and sweeping gestures. Performances usually have live traditional music and are enjoyed by people from all over the world. Fan dancing isn't just dance. It tells a story through slow, deliberate poses and movements. Fan Dance Day was created to celebrate this art form and its rich tradition. <laughs> Chucky better behave. Yes, and hit that like button so we have them all there. So we have a U at the very middle of the puzzle. We have a C, an H, and an O that um, we don't know where they go. I haven't ironed in so long. Ironing, I used to like ironing. It was very relaxing, but then it got such a so difficult to take out the ironing board and Everything else that I uh, I quit enjoying it. It was more of a hassle than than that. If I could keep my ironing board up, it would be nice. So let's see, what could this word be? Does anyone have any idea? I have an idea. I actually have it. Could be two words. And there's a U in the middle and a CH. So I'm going to, yeah, defy, yeah, Chucky, stop it. Behave means I'll block you if you if you say naughty things. No naughty things this morning. I'm too tired to deal with naughty things. No naughty things or mean things or anything. Anything you think you want to type, Chucky, don't. That's the criteria today. If you think it's a good idea to type it, don't type it. Nobody touches your shirts but you for laundry and ironing, says Mr. Angel. He says, nobody touches my shirts but me. Yes. So let's see. I think this word might be vouch. So I'm going to try vouch. It wasn't vouch. So there's only other word it could be. So I think it, it can't. Nope. Apparently not. I don't even know. <laughs> so uh, I don't even know what this word means. But it is a word. So let's see if this is the word. It is not gouch. Oh, pouch. I didn't see the P up there. So I bet I'm hoping it's pouch. Yes, it was pouch. We know what this word is, but I'm going to read a couple more of these. It's Independent Artist Day. Days of the Year says Independent Artist Days is an annual occasion that reveals the special place that indie artists hold in the art world. These free thinkers bring fresh, unique perspectives and creativity to the forefront every day of the year. But this is the day we celebrate their efforts. It's a day to recognize the significant contributions of independent artists to our cultural and artistic landscape. I didn't see the P over there. I would have tried the P. And then we have National Find a Rainbow Day. Uh, we found a rainbow on one of my shorts. There's a rainbow. We found it at Cedar Lakes Woods and Gardens. It's uh, a I think it's a privately owned. No, it's not. It is. Uh, they, it, they do have stuff from the state, but it. Um, they have um, gardens and a beautiful lake, with hence the name, I guess. Um, and it's like a mile walk all around it, but it. Oh my gosh! It seems so much. It's so open. You would think that it would be very closed in with all that they have. But uh, it felt so open and it was just beautiful. And um, the stuff that they had uh, there was amazing. So uh, you can go to my channel and a lot of the shorts uh, that I've posted recently are from there. Um, so uh, check them out if you're interested. Uh, but we did find a rainbow there. 
Um, it challenges us to look to the sky and find a colorful ray of hope cast across it. Jill Magnus says, there are people that see rainbows as an artistic masterpiece in the sky. To others, it is a sign of hope, and to many, it is a sign of promise. It can be all three, beauty, hope, and promise. That's from Jill Magnus. Rainbows are a spectrum of light in the form of multicolored arc appearing in the sky caused by both the refraction, reflection and refraction of light in water droplets in the Earth's atmosphere. Many forms of air and water can cause rainbows. Mist, spray, and dew. Find yourself a rainbow or use a garden hose or prism to make one yourself. So, National Find a Rainbow Day, National Day Calendar. And Dadman says, cheat. And Chucky says, wait, we have talking polar bears now? Oh, boy. Uh, he says, hello to um, Snorter Poop is at Woods at work right now. But he spends, sends his regards. Don't meet me. Don't eat me. We can help each other. <laughs> so, we have cheat. We have cheat. And then we have, oh, look at this. How appropriate. Whoops, I typed in the wrong. Cedar. We were just talking about Cedar Lakes. So, uh, Cedar. And hello, Jerry Minoza. How are you today? I hope you are doing well. And then Coral is already there. And uh, this one we know. But let me do a couple more because I think these are going to go fairly quickly now. It's Fish Fingers and Custard Day. National Today says... This legendary sequence from the British science fiction television program, Doctor Who, served as the inspiration for this holiday. In this scene, Matt Smith's 11th Doctor enjoys fried fish sticks with vanilla custard dip. Even while this may seem like a weird and slightly disgusting mix, many admirers decided to give it a whirl. This new meal was so popular that the BBC, the channel that aired the show, decided to devote an entire day to promoting it. Originally observed on April 3rd, 2012, Fish Fingers and Custard Day has become an annual tradition. And this one, fairly simple. We just add the T at the beginning. Uh, this one, uh, the no longer a planet, uh, so maybe, yeah, whatever they call it now, uh, I don't know what it's called now. And then we have thief. And so, so we serve Doctor Who with fish sticks and vanilla sauce. Earth cuisine is weird AF, yes. Yes, it's can to be. Um, Paraprofessional Appreciation Day. Paraprofessional, oh yes, silly humans, fish don't have fingers. Sounds like the BBC, yes, Dad Man. Snorter Poopa says uh, we are silly humans uh, because we know fish don't have fingers. And Dad Man uh, Walking says, sounds like the BBC started a tradition more popular than what they made of Doctor Who. Absolutely. Um, paraprofessional Appreciation Day. Days of the Year says, paraprofessionals provide assistance in places such as the legal world, health care, education, social so and social welfare with specialized skills to enhance workplace efficiency. They bring valuable expertise to diverse projects and tasks. So let's show some appreciation for those folks who come alongside in the working world to make everything just a little bit more effective and a bit run a bit more smoothly. Join in on the celebration of Paraprofessional Appreciation Day. So, Petty, Petty, let's not be Petty. Tom Petty, W-I-N-C-H, Winch, Winch. There's only one letter there, S-H-U-N-T. I think a lot of these are only going to have one letter. So, we'll do a few more of these. And um, 
that one might this one might be have be a uh, a thinker I was referred to as the library paraprofessional, Snorter Poopus Cooper says. I think they assumed I delivered the books by parachute. Maybe they thought you were a, uh, mistook you for a stork and thought you flew in those books. Who knows? <laughs> Parachuting books in, that sounds like kind of fun. Like Amazon is talking about, they have some places where you can send a drone to deliver your package. I just think that's cool. I would love to have to do a drone deliver something to my place. I think that would be cool. <laughs> and today, Dad Man, for you, it's National Chocolate Moose Day. National Day calendar says moose is prepared for beating eggs or cream until uh, both uh, or both to a frothy, airy consistency and then folding the ingredients to create a light, creamy delight. While mousse can be either savory or sweet, for this day we will focus on the all-time favorite chocolate. From dark chocolate to milk chocolate, bittersweet or any combination, there is plenty of variety when it comes to chocolate mousse. And Snorter Poopa says some of my co-workers were dro drones. <laughs> and not National Biomechanics Day. Days of the Year says, delving into the wonders of movement and form, this captivating field unravels the science behind athletic prowess and human locomotion. Biomechanics combines the study of the function, structure, and motion regarding the mechanical aspects of biological systems. This science of movement of the living body provides insight, particularly in the world of sports and athletics, as well as rehabilitation techniques related to injury. National Biomechanics Day is the celebration of this scientific discipline, which is considered to be the breakthrough science of the 21st century. And Snorter Poopa says chocolate mousse, M-O-O-S-E, sounds yummy. Yeah, sounds nummy. Yeah, yes. And Dadman says yum chocolate mousse, which he smelled, spelled as a mouse. There should be two S's. But yes. Yes, stupid autocorrect. I know. Auto incorrect. Yes. So what could this word be? Do you guys have an idea? Do you guys have an idea? G-O-L-E. Do you want to try golem? We have some very interesting words today. Golem. Or golem. And that was the word. Then we have an A. An R A in the second, third, and E at the end, and a D N F P Golem. This could either be prayed or drape. I'm going with drape. What do you guys think? We have eleven people watching. Thank you guys so much for watching. So D R A P E Drape. Hey, Whoopa Troopa, thank you for stopping by. Have a good meeting. I hope it's not too boring or I hope it's quick. Thank you for dropping by and leaving a like. I appreciate that. We have nine people watching and we have on 13 likes. 210 subscribers. Thank you for that so much. On uh, you on Twitch, we have one people watching, which is probably me. So, yes, chocolate mousse. She mouse would, would cause loud squeaking. I am sure. So this one is F. Has one letter left. So I'll just stick it in there. F L A R E flare. This one also S P I C E. Spice. 
D E L V E Delve. A U D. All the, I'm, I'm, I'm. This one spelled it. Since this one is all spelled out, I'm going to go ahead and do our next day, which is National Tweed Day. National Day calendar. Okay, this one has some controversy about even what it's celebrated for. Some people think the observance celebrates the senator turned crook, William Boss Tweed. Tweed was born April 3rd, 1823. He was the wealthiest and most powerful politician of his time. While being considered the poster boy, boy of political corruption, Tweed is still known by many as one of the most notorious politicians in American history. He died in 1878 in jail after being caught with millions of dollars of stolen public money. And remember, that's millions of dollars in 1878. Others believe that National Tweed Day celebrates the fabric. Originally produced in Scotland, the durable textile was initially hand-woven. While the rough woolen cloth is sturdy, it is also known for being lightweight. The traditionally earthy colors blend well with the Scottish landscape, too. Different families of tweed fall into various categories and styles. The estate that tweed represents, the sheep from which the fabric is woven, and the patter, pattern all determine the particular kinds of tweed it becomes. Famous characters who wore tweed include Sherlock Holmes, James Bond, and Professor Henry Jones, a.k.a. Indiana Jones. So, National Tweet Day, a dual celebration day. Well, we won't probably get that again. Tweed, T-W-E-E-D, Tweed. I am choosing to celebrate the cloth because why would I want to celebrate a corrupt politician? And Jerry Mendoza, ta ti ta a putty tat. Yes. Okay, we have three, two more celebrations. So let's type in some more of these words here. Birth gives it completely. We have a, a W and an L. We don't know where they go. An O and the second an ER. It can be Waller or Lower. I think I'm going to go with Lower. L O W E R lower. It's 58 minutes into the show, 1058 in my neck of the woods, which is the east coast of the United States. And I welcome you all and thank you for coming back on my stream. First stream at really after a vacation. Rupert Giles in Buffy wore tweed, as is appropriate for a librarian. Yes, librarians wear tweed. I think tweed is, I like tweed. I think it's pretty. So we have lower, then we have fling and swipe. Okay. And let's see, we have weed out hate day. National day says it's a day that speaks of the importance of being kind and thoughtful toward others. This holiday is much needed in today's world where selfishness reigns supreme. The main goal of Weed Out Hate Day is to connect gardeners and kindergartner kids with the natural world around them with improving society in the progress, in the process. Weed Out Hate Day removes the roadblocks that prevent children from achieving their full potential. Those who participate in the ceremony learn to kick out any negative influences in their life and bring in a more positive aspect. Weed out all those negative thoughts in your life, just like you would do in a garden. You can't have the beautiful flowers and the wonderful fruit and vegetables if weeds overtake the gardens. And you can't reach your full potential if you do not weed out all that hate and negativity from your brain. What a wonderful combination and a wonderful way to teach children um, positivity. So we have front and leash and A and anger. 
So, yes, we need to weed out anger. And, boy, we're going to get this one. Um, Dadman says, what about ghost librarians? Ghost librarians probably wear more tweed than librarians even today. And Sci-Fi, uh, Mombi saying hello to people. Dad, man, it's thanking Sci-Fi for the heads up about a Tennessee firing of a coach, I believe, uh, of a women's team. Um, and I'm going to listen to a, another channel to find out what's being said. Uh, what it was, I haven't done the last celebration yet. I'm going to do this last one. And then we're going to, um, this, this is the one that has no... Oh, uh, we have no idea. What could this be? It could, I can think of two words. Oh, the weed out hate day. It's to weed out negativity. They they take an, and use a, the analogy of weeding a garden. So they have a garden and the kids go out and they weed the garden. And they say how you can't have good things in a garden if it gets overgrown with weeds the same way with your life, with your attitude, that um, you can't have positivity if you don't weed out um, the negativity and the hate that's in your brain. Oh, yes, uh, a coach lost your job, was a great coach for Missouri, Missouri, uh, Missouri. Missouri State. Yeah, it'd be very. Um, yeah, I don't understand sports. I don't understand some of the things. It's all. It's as much politicky as everything else. So, what could this word be? I've got a couple suggestions. Does anybody have an idea? Or do you guys just want me to type it in? So we can get to the memes. I'm ready for the memes, people. I'm ready for them. I don't even remember what the memes are. I did them so long ago. I have no idea what my memes are about today. So, so um, yes, I'm going to try this word. Whoops. Spine. Nope, there's no P or E. They have the Q, a Z, an X, a J, and a K. I'm wondering if it's skink. It could either be skink or it could be, oh, can't be skins. So I bet you it's skink. And it was skink, and we've got a green screen, which means we solved the puzzle with two guesses to spare. So very good. The words were first, scowl, stayed, wrote, choir, niche, bleed, cause, pouch, cheat, cedar, coral, three, Pluto, thief, petty, delve, winch, shunt, golem, drape, flare, spice, delve. Oh, it's the little mousy thing. Delve, audio birth, lower fling, swipe, front leash, anger, and skink. Yay! And I will not take myself out of the screen. I will take that out so that you can still hear me because that's a horrible thing when you can't hear me. I'm going to go ahead and put our banner back in and I will put my little um, person up in the corner and Go back to the comments. Yay. And let's check out how we are doing over here. We have nine people watching. And we have 13 likes. Thank you very much. We have one person over there on YouTube. Thank you. And we have Metalorian. Good morning to you. Just in time for the memes. I don't even remember what the memes are, to be honest with you. I have no idea, so let's check them out. It is time for something memeingful. So what is our first meme? I do not know. 
I named my dog five miles so I can tell people I walk five miles every day. <laughs> oh, I don't know why I'm having a thing about walking. We'll see. Let's see if there's a theme to these. Or maybe I just did a bunch of memes today because I didn't know what else to do. I guess we must be, uh, they must be about walking. I don't quite know. Um, I don't have a walking theme today. Maybe I did these. Huh. Oh, well. Why do you speed, why do speed walkers look like kids who are told not to run around the pool? Or kids who are running to the bathroom because they wait till the last minute. Speed walking is very, very interesting. To actually be speed walking, I think you have to. There's certain parts of the foot that they have to be at the ground on the same time. And that's what um, makes it look funny when they walk. A walk in the woods helps me relax and ease tension. And the body I'm dragging behind me is great for cardio. <laughs> oh. Let's go get our cardio. <laughs> the face you make when you feel like you've walked 8,000 steps, but you're Fitbit says you've actually walked 900. Whoops, let's change that. What do I want to do here? There's what I want to do. Oh, yes. Because if you don't move your arm, I, um, I don't know. I wonder if I did these memes and I forgot to change them. Because I don't see any connection. There's no walking or anything. There's I don't know why I did these memes today. Oh yes, it's National Walking Day. There, there it does. It is National Walking Day. So there is a connection. These are the correct memes, everybody. <laughs> Yes, that is so frustrating. I do not, um, I don't move my arms a lot when I walk, so it doesn't register steps. So I quit wearing it because it was discouraging. How girls think they look while they walk, <laughs> how they actually look while walking. <laughs> yes, I'm so cool. I'm so sexy. Oh, you look like you got a backache. <laughs> no matter how slow you go, you're still lapping everybody on the couch. That is true. Or behind their computers. So, so true. These aren't really belly laughs. It was hard to find some that made me belly laugh. You... You ever try to breathe quiet? Oh, yo, my gosh. These are just, these just hit too close to home. Too close to home to be laughing hard at. Because, I, oh, yes, you try to breathe quietly when you walk up a hill so bystanders don't hear you're fighting for your life. <gasps> yes, and then they cross their ankles, trip, and fall off their high heels. Yes, that's why I don't wear high heels anymore. Because walking is never funny, LOL. Yes. This one is so, these just hit too close to home. Oh, it, some of them, they kind of hurt. To, yes. Uh, I can't, oh, <laughs> okay, this was funny. I can't get out of bed. My Fitbit is charging and my steps won't count. <laughs> My kids had a, um, yes, I used to wear high heels. Um, my kids had, uh, we homeschooled and they had uh, to do PE classes and they did them online. And one of the things they did was they had a, um, 
like a, a it wasn't a Fitbit, but a, a, a step counter, a little thing where um, they could, it would record their steps. Um, so they'd be getting enough, um, you know, they had to, like they were running or something. Well, my one kid, they were running short. And then while they were watching something on their phone, they just kept shaking the, moving the thing and it gave them all their steps. I thought it was quite clever myself. At the age of 65, my grandma started walking five miles a day. She's 92 now. We have no idea where she is. <laughs> Stop, Grandma. Stop. No, just five more miles. <laughs> Walking with purpose. I don't know what his purpose is, but he obviously has one. Oh, those platform shoes are horrible. Oh, my gosh. I see. I keep forgetting to put, put these up. I keep forgetting now I can do that. Uh, uh, oh, those platform shoes were awful. Oh. I just don't get it. This is what I would tell my kids. I say, don't run, but walk with purpose. I'm going to get that polar bear. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get that polar bear. That's what that penguin's saying. And then it's like, oops, never mind. What do you mean we're not going for a walk? We're going for a walk. I don't want to take you for a walk. We had some of our family... Before you criticize someone, try walking a mile in their shoes. That way, when they get mad, you'll be a mile away and have their shoes. <laughs> Sometimes people don't get it. Yes. With the heels, I think that's what he's talking about. Yeah, we had uh, some of our... Hey, Venus Sparkles, how are you doing today? Uh, it's going good. Um I'm uh, still incoming from vacation, so I'm, uh, I don't know, just a little tired today. You know, you have to take a vacay from your vacay. So, yes. But um, welcome to the show. I don't know you if you've been here before. On uh, Wednesdays and the weekends, we do a puzzle and, and memes. And then on the other days, we have birthday celebrations. Uh, we do celebrations and memes uh, all days. And then... We do birthdays on Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday, and uh, puzzles on the other days. Today was a puzzle day. I can simp I can empathize. I can empathize with that. Absolutely. This made me walk a lot faster. Fifty fat diabetic ahead of you. <laughs> We had no pranks on April Fool's Day, April 1st. None whatsoever. I think that's funny. I would get a shirt like that, but I would probably be the last one. So there'd be nobody seeing it. <laughs> Cardio is so much better when you ha your active wear is on point. So you must wear those clothes. No. Oh, it's starting to really thunder a lot here. Really starting to thunder a lot. Yeah, so there was nothing. Not even on uh, the uh, uh, app we call Twix. But yes, if you haven't uh, subscribed to the channel, please do. If you have a, a uh, Twitch channel, uh, you can go over there and uh, follow me also or join or whatever they do. Um, that would be appreciated. Um, hit the like button. Um, that would be fantastic. 250 is my goal. Uh, I'm, I'm doing a big one because I have 210. 
um, now, I believe. And I'd um, like to try to get 40 more goals. The guy shorts, I think it's more the uh, I'm speed walking pose. Uh, yes, the gents' shorts are not that good to look at. No, I agree. And you're expecting a nor'easter. Ooh, we're just going to get a lot of rain. Here's a rare photo of how my parents supposedly got to and from school. <laughs> I would joke with my kids when they didn't want to be homeschooled. I said, be happy. When I had to school go to school i had to walk uphill both both to and from school in the snow and pouring rain with the sun blaring down on us <laughs> but yes i love this when i went in my day you're under a tornado watch will you be very um Oh, we're under a tornado. Oh, we're under a tornado watch. Oh my gosh! Well, thanks, Dad, man. I didn't know that. It's just thunder right now. And Mr. Angel, thank you so much for uh, letting us keep you company while you did your laundry and ironed your shirts and and all that. Uh, appreciate it. And you, ha I hope you find some good groceries. You actually did walk to and from high school. But was it uphill both ways? That's our joke, is it was uphill both ways. You want to go for a walk? <laughs> Glad you're finally getting off the couch. <laughs> Shut up. I look at the dog. Shut up. Yes, back in my day. Yes. You love weather and would love to stream more about it, but you got to be careful people don't misquote you on a forecast. Yes. And Dad Ben tells Mr. Angel to take care. Back in my day, we had to get up off the couch to turn the channels. And we only had four of them. And sometimes somebody had to stand and hold the antenna so that the picture wouldn't be fuzzy. Ooh, you're going to get some good. Oh, I bet you that smells so good there. Um, uh, he's on his way to an Indian store. Going to get herbs and spices. Uh, I love. We went into a uh, spice store. Oh my gosh, it smelled so good. It's raining here. We have rain. So who knows what's going to happen with the power. Snort of Poop says, uphill in an Arctic gale is being pursued by hunters. Wow. You had a rough school. A rough school. And I believe this next one is our last slide. Yeah, if you could just take me for a walk, that'd be great. Come on. Come on, let's go for a walk. And Dadman says, herbs and spices, where's my KFC? Where's my KFC? So everybody. Oh, quote, herbs and spices. He's off to one of those stores. Mm, is that what they call it now? <laughs> Well, everybody, it is an hour 19 into the show, 1119 in my neck of the woods, which is the east coast of the United States. And it is raining pretty hard here. So I'm just waiting for the electric to flicker because that's normally what happens uh, when we're here. I am trying to think. It's been a while since I've done a show. So I'm like, have I done everything I'm supposed to do? We've done the puzzle. We've done celebrations. We've done memes. Um We've chatted. I'm sorry, the, the memes weren't as guffawy as some of the other uh, ones. Sometimes it's hard to find really funny memes. But some of them hit a little bit too close to home for me to be laughing hysterically at. But um, 
Yes, it's been wonderful to be back. I'm glad it was a puzzle day. I could kind of ease myself into the shows. Um, so uh, we are going to... Um, I love rain too, and we have a metal roof, so I love it on it, uh, hearing the rain on it. And I don't even mind if the power goes out, but I do when I'm streaming. <laughs> so as soon as I get off the stream... Um, it can do whatever it wants. I'm probably going to go lay down and take a nap. Uh, so, yes. Um, I do love the rain on our metal roof. So, um, we have uh, Team Park stream Streamers has raised their goal to $5,000. They have reached their $3,000 goal. Uh, when I looked last night, it was like 3158 78 something like that. I'll say 3150 um, but uh, yes, they have raised their goal to $5,000 now. Um, appreciate all you guys. If you can't donate, uh, or don't feel comfortable donating, uh, you can share out the link. This, uh, this fundraiser has been going on for 30 years. Um, Chalk Walk in the Park presented by Disneyland Resorts. Um, and it raises money for a children's hospital in Orange County on the West Coast. So if you can't give, if you could tweet it out, uh, share it out, uh, that would be wonderful. The link is, uh, the, yes, it is, uh, the walk is near, uh, near the end of July. Um, so yes, that would be wonderful. I'm so glad they keep raising, uh, the, keep re meeting their goal and raising it. That is wonderful. They started off at 500. I think not thinking. Um, yes, Dadman. Oh, thank you so much. Um, we uh, Dadman did get an email from Masters. Um, let me see if I can find it here. Oh, probably not. Um, I was not prepared. I should have. Um, but he is um, out of the um, he, he's recovering still from the surgery. He was home, um, still weak, uh, waiting for, um, you know, different test results and all that stuff. He so appreciates, um, um, each and every one of you that have, uh, thought of him. Um, I don't, um, so hopefully he'll be able to, um, get back into uh, watching some of the shows and things right now. He's just very, very, um, weak, um, still recovering. Um, and, uh, but yes, if we could, um, you know, just, you know, still continue to keep him in your prayers, um, for a good recovery, um, and that he can, um, uh, we can, see him again in chats uh, at least in chats again soon um i'm sure that with medication and stuff that he's taken that he probably is sleeping a lot right now but uh if you ever see him in chat please please say hello to him um he so appreciates it um if we can figure a way if i can find out how if if you want to send uh stuff to him i will see if um there's a way that we can uh, can do that. He's not on any of the social medias and things. So uh, it makes it somewhat difficult for some uh, communication. But if there's anything that you want to uh, share with him, you can, uh, if you're following me on Twitch, I mean on Twix, on Twitter, X, whatever you want to call it, you can send me a private message and I will absolutely make sure he gets it. Um, or you can do also send Dadman one if you're on his um, social and on his uh, Twitter account. Um, if you're on Dadman's Discord, you can do it that way, um, or any Discord um, that we're on. If you send us a message, but yes, um, he is doing well. He uh, really appreciates each and every one of you, and um, I can't wait to be back to. Uh, be in chat and hopefully we can um um get him on a show at some point um so uh yes i'm very very happy 
happy to finally have heard from him was getting, I, I, you know, I was saying no news is good news, but it was making, I was starting to get nervous. Um, so I'm glad that uh, we finally had. So thank you all so much for that. And like I say, continue to keep him in your thoughts and prayers because he does have a long recovery ahead. Um, so talking about my shameless promotions now, uh, I do blocking out the boredom streams. I'm bored, so let's build something. They're impromptu build streams. Um, follow me on uh, Twitter and threads, which I need to put that on here. And whenever I'm going to stream, I will post uh, the link uh, to the stream. Um, I will. I am planning on, well, I'll, when I get to it, I'll tell you. Uh, on Daily at 10 a.m. Eastern times, we're having morning musings with Mrs. Deadman walking. Uh, we have puzzles edition on Wednesdays and the weekends. I am thinking of maybe changing the time on Sunday. And I know this will affect Snort of Poopus because he has a family bird day, a uh, bird board game, uh, uh, the Burry Bear board game day on Sundays. So it might affect Snort of Poopus, but I am thinking of maybe moving my Sunday stream a little later. Um, I, um, I really do miss going to church. So I am going to try to uh, change the stream to maybe 1230, one o'clock so that I can go to church on Sunday morning and then have my stream afterwards. Uh, still can do the same stuff. It'll just be a little later in the day. It's either doing it at 1 p.m. or 7 or 8 a.m. And I just can't do that. <laughs> so I am thinking maybe of moving my Sunday stream a little later so that I can um, uh, go to church on the um, on Sunday. I know, I know that you do. And said so that's like, uh, uh, snort of poopus. I know. And, but I'm just trying to, uh, it's either not do a show, um, at all or move it a little uh, later after that. Uh, church starts at 10. Um, so if it goes an hour and a half, that's 1130. Uh, if we go get some lunch, then that's like 1230 and then one o'clock. So it either, you know, we thought about 12, uh, but so um, we would, that that's the only thing I could think of for on Sundays. Um, but um, um, it's still mulling in my mind. Um, but I, I really, I really want to um, get back to going to church on Sundays. Um, I miss it. We kind of got out of the habit of it. And um, I would like to start doing that again. Um, but yes, Dadman says that he has a late night show at 10 o'clock. There's no link yet for it. Um, but uh, over there at uh, Dadman Walking 55. And he may do a fortnight stream before then. Um, um so just kind of check out, make sure you are following him on Twitter and he will let you know that. Um, I know I feel bad because I want to com accommodate everybody. <laughs> and it's like, oh, it's you can't. I know you can't accommodate everybody. You can just do your best. Um, so um, but yes, that's something that's in my on my brain that I'm thinking about uh, uh, doing. So I just wanted to give a little heads up on that. If on Sunday, you don't see me <laughs> until 1 p.m. I'm still going to call it morning musings because I'm not going to change it for that. Also, we have a P.O. box address. You can check out my info pages on YouTube and Twitch to find out what that address is. If you feel like sending me Dad May Walking 55 or Angawo, my youngest, who is a streamer over on Twitch, and you've seen her on some of our shows, and also she's, he is a mod in my chats. Um, so, yes, if you'd like to send any of us any, um, any, uh, yeah, Dad, no, no. No, if I did it at 6 a.m., it would be a stream where you just hear me snoring. Because, and I would put the uh, PowerPoint on automatic 
and that would just be it. But yes, if you would like to send us anything. And we have Cubes Head of Balking Gaming. Hello. How are you today? We are just wrapping up the show today. Um, but we will be back at 10 a.m. tomorrow. And Dadman's going to be probably doing some Fortnite later tonight. And he has a 10 o'clock squirrel stream um, scheduled. He doesn't have a link for it yet. But yes, um, you can go over there and check him out. Check his stream out. Check him out. Sounds so vulgar. Um, also, if you'd like to support my channel, you can do it multiple ways. You can do it through Kofi, through donations, or thrown through uh, sending uh, gifts. Uh, check them out. Both of the uh, handles are Mrs. Dadman addresses handles. That's CB. Both of the addresses are Mrs. Dadman walking with no punctuation at all. Talking about throat builds, uh, I received this as an anonymous gift, and I am planning on building this on Monday and Thursday. It is over 3,000 pieces, so I think it's going to take uh, a couple, at least a couple days to do. I'm trying to get back to doing two streams a week. So um, as of now, Monday and Thursday at 1 p.m., I will be doing this build. Here's some of the other wonderful gifts I've gotten through uh, Throne. Gotten two uh, Destiny Ghost Shells from Atwood. One is an advent calendar. One is a building a brick build. We got three peeing bears from Daisy, Stunning, and Snort of Poopus. And we have built our little men's bathroom with all the protocols being followed correctly. No looking off to your side, Mr. Bear. We have Squeaka M who sent us the Starry Night, which that was a fun build. Also gotten Stonehenge and Elizabeth Tower from Daisy Flower Child and Liam Grey Wolf. Thank you guys so much. Thank you very much. Oh, good for you. Look at you. Uh, here is Dad Man's links there in the channel. Go over there and subscribe to him and you could uh, find out his stuff. Oh, this is... Um, <laughs> that's not all I, I i have a i have a small collection compared to some people but i have a bookcase that i got from ikea that's pretty full um i do uh not all of these are legos they're building bricks though um i do a lot of like the bear is called a micro brick or um and they're about where a lego brick is 10 minutes 10 millimeters uh, tall, those micro bricks are three millimeters tall. Um, so yes, a bunch of different kinds of bricks that I use, not just Lego sets, but uh, some really good ones and some that are stinkers, but they're fun to try. And I review them also on my, on my show, whether I think it's, if you want to do it, if it's worth getting or not, but yes. And let's see, I have a YouTube, I have live streams and VODs on my YouTube uh, at Mrs. Walking 55 Twitch, Mrs. Walking. no punctuation, no number. And like I said, my streaming schedules are on uh, Twitter at MDadmanWalking and also on threads, which I believe is Mrs. Walking 55 Um I need to update this and I keep forgetting until the stream and then I forget to write it down. And then as soon as I'm done with the stream, I forget all about it, but that is my show today. Everybody. I'm so grateful for the 11 people that are still hanging out, watching, lurking, chatting, who enjoyed the puzzle, the memes, uh, the celebrations today. Um, I thank you all for being here so very much. Um, I thank the all 210 subscribers to my channel. I, I so appreciate that. Um, if you know anybody that would like the channel, heck, even if they wouldn't like the channel, um, send them over and just subscribe. <laughs> I would appreciate it. <laughs> my goal is to get is 250. Um, so we'll see. I have 15 likes. Thank you so very much. And uh, it is 1134 in uh, one, thir one hour and 34 minutes into the show. 1134 in my neck of the woods, which is the East Coast of the United States. And it is time for me to say, see you next time. I will see you at 10 a.m. tomorrow. And remember to be kind, to show love, and that you're not promised tomorrow. So go to bed each night with no regrets. And most of all, 
I wish you peace. You guys have a wonderful day, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.